In this video, I'm going to be giving you five reasons why I think the DJI Action 4 is the vlogging camera to buy in 2023. So let's talk about it. So the first reason is the bigger sensor on this camera. So the DJI Action 4 sports a 1 over 1.3 sized sensor. And compared to the GoPro Hero 11 and the newly released GoPro Hero 12, which only has a 1 over 1.9 image sensor, the DJI Action 4 stumps both of those cameras. I'm not saying that those cameras are bad. I'm just saying that in my opinion, I prefer this camera a lot over those two cameras. So the bigger sensor on the DJI Action 4 allows you to have better low light performance, which means if you are in a low light scenario and you want to crank up the ISO a little bit, it will not be as bad compared to cranking up the ISO on a camera with a smaller sensor. And having a slightly bigger sensor like the one on the DJI Action 4 allows you for a slightly shallower depth of field because if you are using an action camera, let's face it, the sensor size is actually pretty small, right? So we're not even gonna enter bokeh territory yet, wherein you can actually get the background blurred. But with the DJI Action 4, I actually see a little bit of background separation now, so which is a good thing. And the last two things that come along with having a bigger sensor is just a little bit of improved image quality and the ability to hold up better in editing and post. So since the images that came out of this camera came from a bigger sensor, if you are to push it or push the images in post, like push the colors a little bit, it will not fall apart so fast compared to an image that was taken from a camera with a smaller sensor. So the second thing that makes this DJI Action 4 one of the best vlogging cameras in the game right now is its ability to use the standard D-Warp mode. So let's face it, a lot of people avoid using an action camera to vlog with is because there is a very weird fisheye look whenever you vlog with this camera. But it's no longer the case because this camera allows you to use a standard de-warp mode which removes the warping on the side. The fisheye effect is gone. At the same time, you still retain a fairly wide image. So just for comparison's sake, this is in standard de-warp mode right now. As you can see, the edges are just normal and my face is not super warped, right? It looks pretty normal. And the third reason why I like the DJI Action 4 is that it does not take much stress to put on a microphone on this thing compared to putting a microphone on the GoPro. Because this one, it allows you to use something like this, the Ceramonic SRC2001. This is a USB to 3.5 millimeter cable. So it allows you to just use the USB slot on your DJI Action 4, plug in a microphone straight. So let's pretend I want to plug in this Rode Video Micro 2. And just like that, we can plug in a microphone onto the DJI Action 4. Compared to maybe using a GoPro, you're, you're gonna have to purchase the media mod, which is a little bit more stressful, right? So turning this into a vlogging rig is a lot easier than with other cameras. And the fourth thing that I absolutely love with my DJI Action 4 is the front screen's touch screen. So this allows you to manipulate the settings on the front screen because before you're probably going to have to go to the back screen and adjust settings that way but with this DJI Action 4 it's no longer the case. You could be vlogging and you can adjust whatever settings you have on the go on the fly. And last but not the least the thing I absolutely love about this DJI Action 4 are just the colors that come out of this camera. So I own a lot of cameras so my standards are pretty high. It's not a flex I'm just saying that my opinions are greatly influenced by the cameras I have and the DJI Action 4 satisfies that thirst of better color. Whenever I film videos with this thing, sometimes I don't even believe that it came out of this camera. Sometimes I would think that, did I, did I just use my A7S III to take this video? And I remember, no, I actually used my DJI Action 4 and I'm actually mind blown. And one more thing to mention is that you do not have to shoot D-Log to get good colors with this, this thing. I'm just using the normal profile and I'm getting colors that I actually like. So do not think that you have to shoot D-Log to get the best dynamic range, the best picture color. Just using the standard profile is good enough. So those five things are what I think makes the DJI Action 4 such a powerhouse of a camera for vlogging. So it's up to you. You can vlog with it just by itself or you could set up a vlogging rig, which I can teach you, which I already did teach in another video and I'm gonna link it down in the description or maybe in a link above here. So guys, if you have any other further questions regarding the DJI Action 4, just leave me a comment down below and I'll be glad to help. And as always, see you guys next time. Peace.